All right, hooking up a map sensor to the 6AL2 programmable MSD box. And uh, keep in mind this port number, because they come in just regular, running on motor, and then they come in, which is one bar, and then two bar and three bar. This is the three bar one. You need to know that part number when you go into the tune. But uh, it's got a plug-in that comes out of it right here. That's the map sensor plug. It just plugs right in there. And then you run an intake uh, manifold vacuum source to here below the carburetor. Um, yeah, on carbureted, below the carburetor to there. I've already got that ran under the car, so I'll go ahead and cut that to fit and put it on and plug it in. I just wedge that in there. But it's all hooked up. Hopefully it don't come out. If not, I'll have to zip tie it to something. Alright, so once we got the map sensor all plugged up and ran to a vacuum uh, boost source, like it says right there, boost vacuum pressure, manifold absolute pressure, a manifold port below the carburetor. Um, we need to do some setups in the tune here. So there's three different types of sensors that come. One bar is the 2311, uh, two bar is the 23121, three bar is the 23131, which is what we have. Now this is the screen that you'll usually see when you pull pull this up and if you don't see that you go to this main tab and click view. You got your dials and then you got your tree. This is the tree. It has your curves and retards and um, two step and rev limiter. We got our rev limiter set at 7200 RPM. And we got our launch two step set at 3500 through the trans brake. And uh, that's really all that we use. And then up here, this is a run, run retard curve for motor. So, like, we lock our distributor out at 34 degrees, and what a lot of people do, this program can only take time and out. It can't add time, and it can only take time and out. So, whatever your distributor's set or locked to, to use this, you have to lock out the distributor. We have the MSD Pro Billet, which we locked out on motor. We run it locked out at 34 degrees, but now, if the car didn't want to start at 34 degrees, which it starts fine, we could come in here and run some kind of curve. And what, what you do is you just, you come in here, you right click where you want to put the dot, and then just click add a dot, and then you can add a dot here, see, and now, <laughs> if we tried to start the car, it'd be 34 degrees up here, and then it dropped to 14 across the table, but you can, it must not have added this other dot. There we go. And then you can jump it back up here once the, because the car is going to crank about five, six hundred. You can add a dot up here when it starts. So when you're cranking it, it'll take about 15 degrees out. And then um, once it starts, it'll come up here to wherever you have the distributor locked out at. But um, we don't use that part, but that's for the motor part. Now, the boost part, that's what we're going to talk about. And I just did that so you guys know how to plot these points. So the first thing you got to know is what sensor you got. So if you got the one bar sensor, you'd set this to, to 15 PSI. And if you do that, see what it does? It changes the table to where it only goes up to 15, which that's atmosphere. 0 to 14.7, they put 15. That's motor. That's where it's going to run at on motor. Um, now... Uh, 30 this is two bar this will go up to about 15 pounds of boost and then three bar which go up to about 30 pounds of boost and what I did was like I said this 15 down this is motor this is where you're going to operate on motor 
once you come up here, 16, the way they've got it, it's actually 15.7 would be one pound of boost. And then two pounds, three pounds, four pounds, five pounds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock the distributor out at 30 degrees. That's four degrees less than what it likes on motor. So I'm not going to start pulling timing till about five degrees. And what I've done is I've pulled one degree of timing since then. So right here, this is 24.7, which would be 10 pounds of boost. I pulled five degrees, and then I've already got four degrees pulled out of the distributor. And you just plot these by right clicking and click add dot and it'll kind of link them all together. So I went down through here and um, if you put your mouse on it just right it'll or click on it it'll tell you 24.75 remember I said 14.7 is atmosphere so 24.75 will be 10 pounds of boost. I plotted one there pulled five degrees already got four pulled out of the distributor that's nine degrees for ten pounds of boost and I just did did that all the way down through here to 30 pounds of boost and then when you get done you can hit file um, oh something else I wanted to mention this red average this is how many revolutions of the crank it takes to get an average boost reading or map reading so they say to put this at rev average 2, which is usually the best setting. But anyway, once you got that all plotted, I'm all, you can also click and drag these, I think. Uh, maybe not. But I'm going to undo that. Because we don't use that. The car starts fine at 34 degrees. Shoot, it starts fine at 36 degrees. The only time you'd really want to use that if you're locked out and your timing's so high that it wants to drag or kick back, then you can just retard some timing. But anyway, once you get everything saved, you hit File, Save As, name it what you want to, and hit the Save button. I'm not going to hit that because I want to fix this first because we don't use that. That's just for motor. And then after you got that saved, then you go hook it to the car. And then... Um, you click transfer and then you click PC to MSD and that'll load it into the box and that's it you're done if you ever want to pull what's in the box you do MSD to PC and it'll pull what's in the box and show you everything here and, and you got these gauges so on these gauges you got your RPM which it's in increments of thousands so 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4th, etc and then the degrees, the degrees is how much the box is going to pull out. So based on what I'm seeing here and based on what I've seen in the, um, in the boost curve, in the curves, um, you only want to do 25 degrees on, especially if you're using a small MSD distributor and 30 max, but this will tell you how much time and it's pulling in degrees. And then, um, uh, your manifold absolute pressure again zero to 15 that's motor anything higher than that that's when you start to get into boost uh, 16 one pound of boost 17 two pounds of boost etc it only goes up to 30 degrees but again this system can only pull time and it can't add time in. but that's pretty much it if y'all have any questions um, hit the comments